Final day of the World Cup Sevens tournament in Cape Town. And host South Africa may be out of the competition, but after their dismal performance against Ireland last night, but the remaining games promise to be quite the show, so to speak. This morning, top seeds New Zealand and Australia take on Ireland and uh, Fiji, respectively. Our reporter Natalie Malchas joins us now from a rather cold and wet Cape Town Stadium this morning, Natalie. And hopefully the weather conditions there are not putting a damper on the festivities. Unfortunately, and it does seem as if the weather conditions have put a damper, at least on the number of people who've turned out today. Yesterday, we saw another capacity crowd, a lot of energy. Of course, that was in the build-up to the Blitzbooker. They are the hosts, both the men's and women's side, are the host of this uh, tournament. The first Rugby World Cup to be hosted in South Africa since 1995. So there was a lot of excitement. There was a lot of build-up, and unfortunately, as you mentioned, Quite a dismal performance against Ireland uh, late yesterday. In fact, the Blitzbooker had to wait more than 20 hours uh, between their first and the second game that played out last night. And many of the pundits, the spectators um, uh, who were around at the time, who were watching that game, said that certainly played a role. It is so unfortunate that the Blitz Blitzbooker, who are um, of the stronger teams in uh, this tournament, uh, basically flunked out last night uh, with a 24-14 uh, ultimate score there against Ireland. The Blitzbooker will play a little later. Uh, they face Argentina at uh, about ele five minutes past 11. And that is, I'm seeing some of those Springbok fans team in through uh, the gates now already just to back the boys one last time for the Gies and for the energy. There are much less people here this morning than we've seen over the last two days. We spoke to some of the organizers who said nothing will be delayed as a result of the weather. We are expecting some more rain during the course of today. Nothing will be delayed um, or cancelled. The program will flow as scheduled and we can only hope that rugby fans will turn up in their numbers. We heard from the city of Cape Town uh, earlier this week that they're expecting around 150,000 spectators from around the world. Obviously, there are more than um, 40 teams participating. So it's not just South Africa that fans are here to see. Those top-seeded uh, games that you mentioned too, New Zealand, Australia, they too um, will be back on the field. In fact, New Zealand will be uh, playing Ireland at about... 35 minutes past 12, and an hour later, Australia takes on Fiji. So that's sure going to be something to look forward to. And, you know, there's also been, you know, hopes, Natalie, at least from the city of Cape Town, that this tournament will also bring much-needed economic benefits to the city itself. I wonder whether there are any signs of that kind of fringe benefit, uh, given just how many people have rocked up there. Taking a look at some of the informal vendors who have positioned themselves along the fan walk, there has most certainly been quite the cash injection to the city over the last few days. And as you mentioned, that is exactly what uh, the city administration was looking forward to. Many of the hotels here in the business district have been fully booked for weeks now, not just as the teams come into the city, but as spectators too. Uh, not only spend the weekend here, but a few days leading up to the weekend and a few days after as they debrief after all the activity here at Cape Town Stadium. So yes, over the last few days, we have seen um, quite the funnel in of international visitors, but also, unsurprisingly, many locals. Just uh, the other day, I was talking to some of the spectators here who have traveled some as far as Limpopo, uh, many who have, have traveled in during the week to make sure that they are well prepped for all the activities uh, during the weekend. And as I mentioned, yes, it was not such a great performance by the Blitzbooker, but again, we're seeing some of their fans arriving here now. It's not really just about your team that you are coming to support. It's about the love of rugby. And we're seeing that in not as big a numbers as expected, but we're hoping it all uh, kind of increases over the course of the day. Yeah, absolutely, especially when you consider what's at stake. Natalie Malchas, thanks very much indeed. Natalie's live to us there from a cold and wet Cape Town Stadium. Thanks once again. It brings us to 9.30 on the nose. You live.